Visit Buffalo Niagara's Spring Restaurant Week kicks off on Monday, showcasing some of the best eats right here in the Queen City. Right now, we are joined by Zena Laffey, chef and owner over at Casa Azul, and Patrick Kaler, president and CEO of Visit Buffalo Niagara. It is so great to have you both here. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us in. Restaurant Week is upon us. How excited are you guys? It's back. We're excited. Yeah. Yeah, we always participate, so we're, I'm super excited as well. All right, let's look at the lineup this year. Uh, we are so lucky because I feel like every season, and it happens twice a year, right? Mm -hmm. We do it twice a yep. year. Every season, the list just gets longer and longer with more restaurants participating. We are so lucky to have a bounty of people. Let's talk about the lineup this year. Yeah, so we always get more restaurants every uh, season that we do it, like you said, April and October. Uh, we're already at a little over 100 restaurants, but they will be adding because a lot of them wait until they find out what they can uh, get uh, to be able to serve and make everything fresh. And so uh, we're, we're really excited about all the possibilities. And so, like you said, Monday through uh, sun, uh, the following Monday, or through the following Sunday. And yeah. Zena, you have been participating yep. in it for a while now. What you have going on at Casa Azul is awesome. It's one of my Thank favorite you. spots. For those who may not have been there before, tell us a little bit about Casa Azul. Yeah, so we're a uh, contemporary Mexican restaurant. Um, we do a lot of creative regional Mexican dishes. We're definitely known for our tacos, but then we have a lot of um, fun adaptations on different classic Mexican dishes. We were talking about the guacamole. Yes, we were talking about the guacamole. <laughs> we had our own little uh, fun spins on that, different tostadas, tortas, uh, stuff like that, carne asada. You said you have been a part of this restaurant week thing for years and years and years. Why do you guys continue to come back? Because you do see a lot of restaurants and they're repeats. Yeah, um, so we jump at the opportunity to join. We're not one that holds out. To the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as soon as sign up goes up, we're, we're in there. Um, I, I think it's great because we get a different audience. A lot of people come from you know, the suburbs that right now we're on Elm and, and Elmwood. Mm -hmm. um, so not just the city folk, or if it is people returning back, they could try different dishes. So we like offering different stuff at different price points. And yeah, it's always a great time every time we participate, so. And I love that you mentioned the different audience. And, and Patrick, I think you could speak to this, yeah. that there is something, when it comes to Western New York's food scene, there mm -hmm. is something for everyone. It is really amazing what we have here in Western New York when it comes to the food and the drinks. How how special is it here? Oh, it's absolutely special, and that's what makes Restaurant Week so great because it does give people the opportunity to go out and try a new restaurant. So someplace that they may not have been before or take their friends who've not been to one of their favorite restaurants to try as well. But we've got flavors from all around the world here in Buffalo, and we're so lucky that we are more than just wings, beef on whack <laughs> and pizza that we do have so many great flavors and we have James Beard nominated restaurants right here in Buffalo too and one of them is participating in uh, restaurant week but and that uh, one is Southern Junction Southern Junction we actually saw them in the uh, in the tees coming into this yeah. uh, coming into our commercial um, there while there is a huge diversity of tastes and flavors mm -hmm. uh, that are a part of restaurant week again this season there is one thing that is similar and that is the price points for participating restaurants it is a little bit different each yeah. season so tell us about this season's office. Yeah, and that was very intentional for Visit Buffalo and Niagara to um, implement Restaurant Week as well because we want as many restaurants to be able to participate, whether they're kind of an entry level up to a high end level. So for lunch, we have three different price points of $15, $25, or $45. For dinner, it's $25, $45, and $65. So again, the previous iteration of it, the, the price point would be $20 and 24 cents. The cost of goods right now are so high that that would limit the number of restaurants that would be able to participate. And like I said, this gives every price point uh, within Erie County to be able to participate. So it all kicks off on Monday. You have over 100 restaurants partaking. If someone at home wants to see, you know, the different places they mm. can try out, yep. where all the information is, where should they go? They should go to visitbuffaloniagara.com, and uh, we have a landing page, and you can search by cuisine, by areas of um, uh, Erie County. So it's very easy to uh, find the great restaurants that you're going to go to for every meal in the following <laughs> week. That's right, exactly. That is certainly the hope. Patrick and Zena, thank you guys so much. Congratulations on Thank the success you. of Casa Azul. Well. Appreciate Thank it. You.